What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's play as M as the United States So to run off where we left off, we captured Gdansk last turn in the last part And in this part we're going to attack Cal Cagliari in Sardinia And this will be the final destruction of the Prussian, of the Prussian faction, if we can do it um, We do have multiple reinforcing armies coming in from multiple directions Even some coming from right behind us um, but we do have a couple of our stacks of our own. So this is a battle which, if it does go disastrously wrong, we have plenty of reinforcements to do the job. So let's crack on. I'm probably going to need to use... So what I did before I did this part, well, what I did in the last part, was I swapped out some of my scouts for some amount of damage in the shortest amount of time to prevent their routing units from leaving the field. And thankfully, because they've got lots of infantry, it will take them some time to leave the field. I could well lose my artillery once I get inside the fort, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. Ultimately, if I don't need it. Okay, probably gonna want to go up here, over here then. Because this is an, a bit, an, an absolutely abysmal position. Eh, here's not so bad. Assault teams are going to be these uh, foot guards. You have line infantry, you have line infantry, and this unit of Republican guard. And you will be on the reverse slope of here. And these guys are going to be my ready divisions to respond to whatever comes up. And here's my field marshal. Is he a field marshal? I thought field marshals had pistols. Either way. Some my horse guard units are tanked up, uh, uh, absolutely equipped. So I might deploy these guys a bit further up, because they, they do have that defile aid. So let's watch the first shells of quicklime come in. They're all going for the centre. Nope, thankfully there is a balance, some of them aren't going for sections of the walls. Oh, that's an excellent shot. So I do want to almost avoid the cavalry in the middle for now. And instead go for sections of the wall. Ideally, in not many turns, I could destroy both sections of this wall and pin lots of them up there. That'd be ideal. But it remains to be seen if it will actually happen. So what I don't, what I don't want to do is knock out all these cavalry units, because then they'll be able to quickly run away and bring back reinforcements. Ooh, that's lovely, that is. Can they hit this section of the wall, though? Absolutely, please do try to defend the breach. Can these guys see that section of the wall? Oh no, it appears they can't. So I may in effect, I may withdraw them. Or now I could just limber them up and advance them. So you've managed to secure this section of the wall somewhat. Starting to deploy en masse to protect the breach, which will be significantly troublesome, particularly when my mortars or my howitzers start dropping. Let's right, keep an eye on where these guys are going. On the walls, excellent. Oh, I 
Yes, there we go. So he's going through the wall. Okay. So let's bring up my assaulting units a little bit. Guns. We move up to here. It's a bit of a gamble, and let's assume that we will be okay when it comes to enemy reinforcements. Because this is what I want to hit. These guys will be fine. It's this block of infantry that will really start to pin you down. If you need to win quickly, it's these small units that'll tie you up. Good. Oh, a bit of a. Ah, it's also a bit of a lame, lame volley there, but that was quite a significant amount. get this artillery up on up on this section of the ridge we can blow another hole in the wall that'll take some time and I'd be quite happy just to keep chipping away at this section is that their general it is their general because this could be a bit frustrating to capture I mean they are militia but militia aren't entirely useless Run the infantry because the general's starting to have a peek. Yeah, here comes the cavalry. Let's just move out my own cavalry. Need to be a bit more, more offensive, but. Shot. Some more good shots. Okay, so you. Okay. They're bugged out. Oh, there's one guy holding it all up. Okay, let's start the offence on this side. So let's bring these guys up to babysit the breach. Let's get a unit of expat infantry to cover the gate. Let's get all the artillery to start hitting the centre. Probably do a softening this unit of militia, these units of militia up a bit more, but it's going to be something. I'll divert one of my I'll divert one of my howitzers to continue firing. Shoot it then. <laughs> Do 
so I don't like I don't like dropping oh this is really nice when this gets in a hole again. okay hold on no 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 you stay here doesn't matter if you pick up these guys getting off the wall. I want these guys to be ready when a hole gets blown in the wall, so I'll just run them straight in. these units in square and they will be doing a fantastic job as these guys start climbing the wall Ooh, I'll just quickly my own troops up to begin firing into the center. We capture the gatehouse. So hit this militia unit, you are already hitting this militia unit. These are to run and capture the gate, yeah, fair enough. They, they, they did get quick lined after all. Why are you routing? Oh, they quick lined. It's hot fire. Okay, let's run you guys in. Are you? Wait, what am I? Well, where's it like directing artillery? Charge the guns, may as well. Hurry up. Let's pull the artillery back because you're just not needed anymore. <laughs> poor, poor, poor. And you. Charge into the breach. Those guys to pin down the militia. Let's get this house on cavalry in here too. So that routing unit of infantry came back, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Get that general. Although some of them are bugged in the gate, so. Now the gate opens. Yeah, 
yes, the reinforcements come from that direction. Come on, then, get your cavalry inside. Maelstrom. Is the enemy general destroyed? No, enemy general. Oh wow, my general comes in right next to a Two armies coming in right next to each other. It's not really ideal, is it? Okay, let's get these guys to, to garrison this stretch of the wall. In case they get here in that time. Use this general's bodyguard to chase after this general's bodyguard. Just keep chasing down the line unit. in the fort. And then this last unit, attack this bit of militia as much as you can. Everyone else, find a piece of wall and stand on it. Gonna make much of a difference because by the time their infantry gets here and it's running and it's knackered, this will be the end of the Prussians. Did they catch one of my. Well, they will. They, yeah, see, they would have re marched right in behind me. Absolutely not what I would have wanted at all. If anything, let's get this fragment of an army in here as well. Could end up killing one of my generals, but meh. If they do, they do. Take out my artillery. Been shot in the rear. <laughs> this is what happens when you get charged by everywhere. But oh god, no one's actually on the on the point. So you guys get there and form square two. And to be honest, let's just run my general into the fort. It's the safest place for them right now. Crassiers are giving themselves up to allow my artillery to escape. Not into the battle, you fools. Just 
get the hell out. Well, they'll probably get shot by the. Uh, shot off their horses by. <laughs> by a bunch of damn militia. That's the end of the battle. Just as they've started to get to the walls. Yeesh. But that's good show. If I took it too many, I'd have a brand new stack coming in to reinforce the losses of the fort. There's only so long you can... Oh wow, that's a lot of casualties on my side. But it was worth it. The siege is for ready. the final result. Make ready for battle. The death of the Prussian Empire. Finally. Thank God. Good, and they can replenish their losses there too. Well, to be honest, if you're ready to rock and roll, sir, man, they're going to get moved on, and they're going to hit Malta. Trippers, we're going to engage them with my navy first. Oh well, yeah, you're still here because the Marathas are just down here, which is fair enough. Orders, Captain. Officer on deck. Okay, let's replenish you guys. Join them to the main fleet. Then we'll engage the Maltese. Because I don't know what to be honest, we might be able to make them. Might be able to land on the island anyway, regardless, and then just assault them. Anyway, construction, this all been done. Panama. Steam pump mines, you've not been done. Neva has the theatre. Grading all my infrastructure. Top level stuff, that's all top level stuff. Cool. There we go now, finally I can actually upgrade or repair my stuff in Konigsberg. This has been broken forever, near enough. Oh, and you absolutely need to replenish, because you will also be able to... To be honest, if I ran you here, if this army lay siege to um, Courland, this army could follow directly behind it and lay siege to Riga. In the end, the entire Russian front will be under siege. In a number of turns. In, 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 on the first turn. Yep, sadly did lose my general. But I've got a new, a new one. Gifford Bloodknock. Pretty awesome name. Prussia's finally been torn out. Root and stem. Good. That means so these guys are going to hit Malta. And then I'll probably sail up and just start. Maybe over here. Dump some armies. Maybe. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to hit end turn, but I'm going to cut the I'm going to uh, cut the recording here because Russia takes too long. So see you in one sec, guys. And we're Select back. The type of port to yep, mobile. Let's upgrade you. Put a church school. Ready for then you will be. This will be very much an auto resolve battle. This way. I serve the Lord's will. Let's get rid of the seminary. Um, cool. It's tempting to take this army eastwards because it's quite a cool-looking, you know, America army. So I'm probably going to send it to the wider war. Whereas this Mexico army is—it's got the Batavian pirates, but that's about it going for it. So we're moving out. Move on to the borders of the Plains nations and be ready to move. Yeah, I can tax you. Cool. Let's build a church building. Cool. Let's build a fishing port. And let's upgrade this to a craft workshops. Cool. And let's also give you metal roads. Yeah. Fishing fleets of Iceland are doing very well. Population is growing quite nicely, earning a good amount of money. Yeah, Baton Rouge has been upgraded. Mill is about to be upgraded. Good. Good, good, good. So let's hop over to the Americas, this army up here. Sir. Continue your journey up to St. Rupert's Land. This army here is going to knock out um, the Pueblo Nations, then go on to take Santa Fe, and then I'll probably send them up to go take Yankton. 
Should be pretty good. Let's get you guys repaired. Got a rake here. There's not really much need apart from just sending on a long walk up to the up to the uh, the Black Hills. Some nice traits have been gained. Yeah, Tristan and Mansfield mentioned in dispatches. Good, I'm glad. Region captured up Louisiana, lovely. Okay, okie dokie. So let's take. Yes, sir. You can Citizen. embark. Yes, for crown and country. Ready for orders. Oh, what am I actually doing with you? Your cavalry's, cavalry's knackered, but your artillery is good, and that's what matters. Yes, sir. So if we do Ready this... Embark. Because he's been here since the beginning, I think, that general. Because I can sail over to here. And then I can say declare war. Ooh, hold on. So we'd be at war with Persia again, and they do have all of these guys sat here waiting to hop into a ship. That's why I may be inclined to send a, sh a fleet here, my main fleet, to bottle them up. Let's give them a bit of leeway to actually make some money, but it also stops for when Persia joins them. It gives them a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a question. And it also probably means I'm going to have to keep an eye and keep an eye, well keep a constant eye on raiding Persian forces. So it's good when I've got all these men in reserve. I think we should be okay. So I'm not going to declare war. We have no allies and their allies have joined them. I mean, they, they couldn't get into the port because then that would have wound them up too much. That would have riled up the um, Knights of St. John. So let's get them in a port, any port. This one. So then let's get this army redeployed over to Damascus. Because ultimately I may end up fighting one giant final war against... Well, because once I hit the Persians, then we're, on the, we're fighting against the Savoy. Then once I start fighting Savoy, then I am up against... Um, I'm right up against, up against the border of the Marathas, so there's no real easy way to not be in a world war right now. I need you to replenish and rebuild as quickly as possible. You need some artillery. To, yeah. You need artillery and rapidly. And to be honest, I might even move you. Charles Hawthorne. Yep, you're no longer going there. You're waiting for a ship. Or do you want to build two ships? Ship both of these over to Persian, the Persian theatre as well. Cool. So let's hit. Well, well I can hit end turn. And um, plus you guys in a minute. Suitable for plantations mm -hmm. in this Plantations region. are ready Building to be upgraded. Here will increase your Done. Yes, sir. Let's get you up and ready. Some more mines for Spain. More plantations. More Melia. That's farmland. Church school here is ready to go. Cool. Yes. Sound the call to battle. Maintain siege for now. Then where's those where are those damn boats? Quote. Yes, sir. Oh, I can't even remember his name. In a bridge too far. In a bit the mass exodus of our forces eastward. Oh, you're one, one turn shy. Uh, 
let's cancel recruitment there instead. Get you in theatre at least. Let's get Charles Hawthorne disembarked. Send him eastward to... Oh, I could pick up a set of guns from here. How convenient. Good. Mass movement of troops eastwards. Perfect. Mamilia. So this army's ready to rock and roll. So you sit here and be ready to move on Sofia. You move as a new garrison to Istanbul. God, this attack on Russia is going to be so cool. I might actually send two... Okay, so we're going to have two move in, or three move in on Warsaw. We're going to have two move in on Vilnius, one here Yelvaga, one move up to here Riga. We're going to have two or three yes. moving up to hit Kiev. To be honest, I might move you up here to follow this Forward. army towards Moscow. Mark. God, we've been laying, laying the groundwork for such a massive invasion. Here's going to be a bit, bit more of a tying them up operation, I think, for now. But yes, I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing the war with Russia kick off because right now I'm kind of at war with everyone but the next thing on the docket is the Settlement attack on sea. the island of Malta against Valletta but looking at the timer that will be the end of this part so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for the destruction of the Knights of St John <laughs>